Good afternoon, Chris, and uh, congratulations on another win. Yeah, very good. I uh, last week was off the eight 0 today, four 0 People might away from this look at that and go, "Oh, half the scoreline and anything like that." Into this, you not in the game, but for me today was as assured as a performance as we've probably seen. I think since we've been. Um, management stuff of this team, I thought it was very, very good from start to finish, comfortable. I think Katie Gill touched the ball less than 10 times the whole match. Um, maybe one, one, one or two shots, maybe, if that. Um, and we were very, very good. The, girl, the girls did everything we asked in terms of patterns and their endeavour to win the ball back out of the pitch, keep things simple but do it with quality, and, and they came through in, in droves, really. And like I say, two wins from two. Um... 8 0 last week, 4 0 this week. Um, that's strength, strength to strength, really. Yeah, the, obviously, I think that season's through today to the, to the next round, which is great. Um, we, can, we, we know our team, we're always going to be able to create chances and score goals, so that's that's great. The one thing that Callum and I sort of banged on about from day dot is those clean sheets, really. And that's not just goalkeeper and defenders, that comes from strikes at the front, pressing the ball in midfield, backing them up, and then defenders doing things consistently well. The last, I appreciate, you know, the last six games have been split ever since October, but in the last six games we've had four clean sheets, including the friendly. So, no, good, very, very good, and I'm really, really pleased to see the progress we're making, really. And like I say, 4 0, four different goal scorers, um, but if you look at your shots, 26 total shots today. Yeah, I'm always going to say we can be more clinical, that we, we can be more clinical. Last week we could have been more clinical. Um, you know, last week, I don't think it's an exaggeration to say it probably could have been 15 nil. Today, you could go away and say, you could if you doubled the score line um, to say it was 8 nil, then yeah, okay, I think you would say that that might be a fair reflection. 4 nil is a fair reflection because we've won the game and it's a clean sheet and it's been it's so comfortable with how good the girls was, but we definitely could have. We could have more goals, we could be more clinical, but um, you know, I don't want to sound greedy after a very convincing win. I think well, if, you, if you look at the uh, corners, 17 corners for us, zero for them, um, and the quality of the corners were pretty good today. Yeah, they were. So we've um, specifically first half, Liv, Liv Smith gives us some real quality on set pieces from from corners and wide free kicks. Her, her delivery is, is is great, really. It's something that we've benefited from today, actually, in, in terms of scoring a goal, and we've benefited from at Derby. Uh, I think. Yeah, we've we benefited two set pieces at Derby. Um, so yeah, it just adds another another string to our bow, really, to be able to score more goals from from set pieces. And the sort of team we are, we do get corners, we get a lot of free kicks, so um, it, it's great for us. And then next week, away to Ollerton, last game in the, in the group. Yeah, I think. Well, the last time that we played Ollerton, we obviously called Highcombe Town. It was three years ago now in my first pre-season. Uh, we went there. Uh, and we got beat 4 0, it was convincing. Um, obviously, they've drawn Sleaford last week. Um, you know, they've been through in the FA Cup, they're sort of mid table in, in the Premier, so we'll just go there and try and impose ourselves as we do every game and, and see where we come out with. Hopefully, it'll be another three points and you know, I'll be good in the centre of the clean sheet. Lovely, well done, Chris, good stuff. Cheers, Andy.